What's up guys and welcome back to Face Over Matter. So first we're going to start out with our eyebrows. I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Pomade in the color Chocolate. And I'm also using a Sigma E06 brush. Using my Sonia Kashuk Concealer Brush. And then I'm using some Duo Lash Glue to set my brows. This is one of my holy grail tricks that I like to do to keep my eyebrows in place. Then I'm just going to set my lids for eyeshadow. So for the first eyeshadow I'll be using is Tiki Hut. All of the eyeshadows are from Makeup Geek, of course. And if I'm talking funny, it's because I just got braces. I have the Invisaligns. And I will be doing a dedicated video on prices and my experience with getting them on and all of that stuff. So just save your questions for when I do post the video. So I'm just going to be blending this in. This eyeshadow does get a little bit darker if you continue to add layers. So I did add a little bit more into the crease. So the next color I'll be using is Neptune from Makeup Geek. This is a beautiful blue color. But I know once I applied it with a brush, it was going to become darker. So that's exactly what it did. And I think it worked perfectly. So I just took that color and I'm placing that a little bit lower than the crease, almost on the lid. And just basically blending that in. So just basically using windshield wiper motions to blend all of that in. And I did add a few layers of this blue color just to get it really intense. And then I'm just going to here do the other eye. Just going to speed it up for you. I decided to do one eye, just regular motion. And then the other one fast just to speed up the process. Because I know sometimes doing it fast sometimes gets, you know, a little confusing. Because I'm going too fast, of course. So the next color is Nautica. And this one is a foiled eyeshadow. I love this one. Um, these kind of eyeshadows work best when you wet it. So I did spray my brush with some water and just to get the pigment really intense and really really beautiful so we can create that really bold lid shade that I am most desiring. I'm just going to blend it up a little bit into the crease but not too much because I don't want it to get a little bit too crazy. Then the next shadow is Secret Garden. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows from Makeup Geek and by itself it's beautiful but I knew on top of that blue color we would get this really beautiful mermaidy mixture kind of color and that's exactly what it did. So I just applied that all over the lid. Then I'm just taking some black eyeshadow which is called Corrupt from Makeup Geek but any black eyeshadow will do. I'm just going to line my um, top lash line with that just to create some some dark edge there so we won't have any gaps. Then for foundation, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in 8.75. This honestly, guys, have has become my favorite foundation. Every time I do my makeup, I reach for that foundation. So for concealer, I will be using a mixture of the Maybelline Camouflage Concealer and the concealer from the e.l.f. Foundation Palette. I don't recommend the e.l.f. Foundation Palette by itself because it does break regardless of how much powder you apply on top. So I did mix it with a little bit of the Maybelline concealer. And that one is in shade 50 medium. And then my Dirty Beauty Blender, of course, I'm using. And then my favorite Holy Grail Air Spun Powder you can find at your local Walgreens, Walmart, Target, wherever they sell beauty supplies, more than likely has this powder. This powder is very inexpensive but works like the high-end makeup. I love it. So then taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in medium dark, I think. And I'm just going to create a fake cheekbone, basically, because I do not have any defined cheekbones. And then taking my favorite pressed bronzer from Black Radiance. This one is in Golden Almond. One of my favorite powders, of course. If you've been on my channel for a long time, then you'll know this is my Holy Grail powder. Probably won't ever stop using this as long as they make it. <laughs> I'm so serious. So next I'm just going to swipe off all of the airspun powder. I know I get a lot of questions about flashback, but I do believe if you wipe it off a lot and then mix it in with a little bit of like a face powder that's like your skin color, it'll be just fine. Using my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter, which is my favorite, I'm going to highlight my inner tear duct and my brow bone to do this. Next, taking Tiki Hut, I'm just going to sweep this underneath the eye. I didn't want the under eye to be really bold and exaggerated. I just wanted all the focus to be on top of the lid. So I just did a little bit down below. And then I'm going to line my waterline with this Wet n Wild pencil. I'm not sure of the name, but I will link, well, I will list the products down below. So here I'm taking my favorite mascara, which is Great Lash from Maybelline New York works like a charm. I think it's one of the best mascaras they ever made. Then I'm going to curl my lashes, apply some mascara to the top of those. Then I will be adding some false lashes, which these are the Ardell lashes. These aren't the Wispies. These are like the regular ones that are a little bit longer than the Wispies, but they work like a charm and I love them. One of the best drugstore lashes out there and I did apply them with the duo lash glue the clear tone but you could use the dark tone too but I know the clear tone is easier and it and it dries clear so you don't have to worry about the dark tone getting all over your lid and all that stuff and of course because I didn't do a wing I wanted to avoid that at all costs 
So then just adding the highlighter to the highest points of my face using my favorite highlighter brush, which is the Morphe M501. Best one out there. I don't care what anyone says. Just highlighting my nose and Cupid's bow. Then off to lipstick, I'm going to be using... Oh no, blush. Okay, sorry about that. Makeup Geek Blush Summer Fling. Favorite blush. And I'm using one of my favorite Sephora brushes. I think this one is the number 93. I haven't done this in a while, so I forgot some of my product names. <laughs> and then for lip color, the Southern Beauty lipsticks did come out. They have launched already, so I'm super excited about that. So make sure you guys use my coupon code below so you guys can get your hands on it. But this one is in the color Harmony, I think. I uh, really hope I said that right. But it will be linked down below so you guys can get your hands on it. I love this color. It's beautiful. And then I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of this Milani liquid lipstick. I forgot. I think this is called Adorable or something. But this one also is a matte lipstick and is one of the best. Drugstore. Oh my goodness. And alright guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you have not already. And God willing, I will see you all in my next video. Love you.